Hi, I'm Francis at GC Motors and today I'm going to be showing you around our 2017 Range Rover Autobiography finished in Loire Blue paint. This is actually an ex-Royal Family car which is something you don't see every day. Now before we get into the full video of the car it is worth noting that there may be some age related wear and tear as this is not a brand new car. That said we do guarantee no dents, no scratches through paintwork and no scuffs to alloy wheels. We do try to prepare our cars to the highest possible standard in our in-house body shop and service centre. The overall condition of this car is good, especially for the age. The paintwork is in a good state across all panels of the car. Now there may be the odd stone chip, but this is to be expected with a used car. The alloy wheels are in great condition also. These are 23 inch Valair alloy wheels, which are actually an optional extra, which we fitted ourselves, which do come at an additional cost to the car of £3,690. In my opinion, these alloys really transform the car and give it so much road presence. However, if you don't want them, we are still offering the standard 22s from factory at no additional cost. Now underneath the bonnet, we've got a 5 litre supercharged V8, producing roughly 500 brake horsepower from factory. Now moving around the exterior of the car, you can see we've got features such as this Indus Silver contrast roof, with the matching Indus Silver roof rails, these aluminium trims all across the car, parking sensors on the front, parking sensors on the rear, and this electrically deployable tow bar. Moving on to the interior of the car, this is the beautiful ivory leather, which goes really well with the Loire Blue exterior. The interior is in great condition, although once again, this is a used car, so there may be some signs of age-related wear and tear. You get a good size boot which is in great condition also. It features controls for the rear seats and the tow bar, this folding parcel shelf, these 40-20-40 split folding rear seats and an electric split tailgate. This car has a whole host of features which include this head up display, soft closed doors, this sliding panoramic roof with an electric blind, the figured Macassar veneer which is also on the steering wheel as well, Meridian Audio Front and rear winged headrests This Cirrus leather headlining These electric memory heated and cooled massage front seats These electrically reclining heated and cooled rear seats Four zone climate control Velour floor mats Illuminated autobiography kick plates Steering wheel heating Noble chrome shift paddles Adaptive cruise control this front centre console cooler box, this fully digital cockpit, and various driver assistance systems such as forward alert, automatic emergency braking, reverse cross traffic detection, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, blind spot monitor with blind spot assist, traffic sign recognition, and an intelligent speed limiter. This car has got adaptable driving modes, which Land Rover calls terrain response and also air suspension with adaptable ride height. Moving on to the infotainment display, you can see we've got features such as a 360 degree camera with integrated front camera, side cameras and reversing cameras, as well as a display for your 360 part distance control, satellite navigation, DAB radio, digital television capabilities, in control apps, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth, ambient lighting with configurable colours, controls for all your seats, and controls for the deployable tow bar. At time of filming, this car's covered just 48,960 miles, which is not too bad for a car that's six years old. This Range Rover's only had two previous owners, which, like the mileage, is very low for the age. If you have any further questions about this car, please don't hesitate to contact our sales team via phone, email, or live chat on our website. I've been Francis. Cheers for watching.